What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Cat, back again with another Road to the Show episode. I believe this is episode number 24, and we are back with the glitch in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I, uh, I understand I don't play uh, with Poppy Cap a lot more than I should, but then again, I'm having a lot of fun with Ranked Seasons. I'm having a lot of fun with streaming, and you know what? I think it's time we little bit fast forward, of course, to Poppy Cap's progression. We have made it to the playoffs here in the minor leagues, and uh, we're going to check out the final numbers of how Poppy Cap ended the season. It's not going to be right there, but of course, we do get to see if you go to right here where it says stats and awards. Look at that. Poppy Cap ended the season with 82 bombs, 220 RBIs, and 1.170 slugging, batting well over 500. I mean, just look at Poppy Cap, man. He just continues to get hits. I mean... Look at all those numbers. I don't know what they mean, but even, I mean, just take a look at these numbers right here. He's batting. Look at that number, five thousand. I get it. Of course, the that bats and everything reset. But just look at how Papa Cap bats. Whenever there's you know a certain count that comes to his uh you know when he plays and stuff. I mean, just look how he's hitting against his uh, opponent on the road at home, whatever. 500, 475, 536, 579. I mean, just look at all these numbers. I mean, of course, then again, I mean, we we play with a lot of the usual teams, but it's all right. But you know what? Papa Cap has been killing it. He's been able to help us get to the playoffs. And today, we're going to get to the first game of the playoffs against the Altoona. I don't know what their home team is, but hopefully, we could take the series. Of course, it is the best of five. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into it. All right, before we do get this game started, we got a pep talk from our manager. Entering the postseason game may feel different, but we're here to just play ball, which we've been doing pretty well all year. Just play your game and do all the little things, and we'll be fine. See, the manager's got a lot of confidence in us. We did end the season 91-49, and 49, so that's, what, 140 games that we played. Very, very good record. So, uh, like, look at that right there. 128 runs, 255 hits, 82 bombs. I mean, think about it. He's even batting third for the team. He's been batting third, I think, ever since he got drafted. No, actually, you know, that's not right. He got drafted, but then again, he had to start low and make his way up. So, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We also added a bunch of new equipment to him. We got diamond... Uh, Bat tape, we got gold sunglasses, we got the elbow guards, everything all good in the hood. So let's see, we're going to try and hopefully win in these first two games right here, but we got to take it slowly, step by step, and just like that, late but good, Papa Cap finds a way to get on base, and just like that, Papa Cap's already one for one in the playoffs. All right, looks like our manager wants us to steal, but we got to be careful because there's a lefty on the hill, and he could have backpicked us. I mean, look at the glitch in the game, man. Look at him all so smooth. Just everything he does with style. I mean, just look at him, man. Look at that first step he took. He gets there before he even catches the ball. I mean, can you think of anybody better? All right, here we go. Second at bat of the game. Looks like I think we only have one hit. That's right. We only have one hit right there, and it's only by the glitch in the game. So we got to get something started for us here. All right, here we go. Come on, Poppy Cap. Let's see if we can get another hit, and that's going to be right at the second baseman just early. And we hit it the other way. Does That's not how baseball works, but hey, it is what it is, I guess. But here we go. Third at bat coming up right here. We're still scoreless. And how many hits do we have now? We got three. Okay, not bad. Okay, we're starting to get some here. All right, come on. Let's see if we can hit something a little bit better. Poppy Cap obviously doesn't want to, of course, you know, make the manager upset or his teammates upset. So, I mean, if it, it looks like a strike, he's definitely going to swing at it. Oh, baby, just look at that one down the middle. Perfect, perfect, baby. Let's see where it lands. Where does it land? Oh, my God. That hit the board over there. I'm going to guess 447 feet. That's my guess right there. 454, seven feet off. Not bad. But, I mean, just look at the glitch in the game, man. Just making everything so smooth. I mean, let's take a look at this replay right here. Just look at him. See, he's got the stats. Everybody knows the famous stats. Pop a cap. Look at that. Ooh, baby. Let's see if we can see the, the, the line that will show. There it is. Wow. That is... That was... That was just demolished. I mean, I don't even know if that baseball has its stitching left. That's insane. All right, here we go. We are in center field. So, of course, if we got to make a play by any means necessary, we're definitely going to make it. Okay, let's see right here. Come on. And that's going to be hit into left center. But the glitch in the game is there to make the play. Look at that. So nonchalant. A home run here would make it a 7-6 game. And uh, let's see if Papa Cap can do some right here. Because, of course, we're only down by four. One swing would bring us within one. Come on, glitch in the game. You can do this. 
Okay, okay, that wasn't your pitch. Way to hold up. Remember, don't swing at something if you if you know you're not ready to swing. That's exactly what we did. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's gonna be right at him. Now that's just early, and that's pulled. So you see what I mean? I get it. One's a fastball, one's a slider. Unfortunately, I mean, we don't really come up with anything huge here. We do come up here in the bottom of the ninth, coming in two for four so far. And uh, I know one swing of the bat isn't going to be the difference right now. But, hey, it could definitely be a start. And just like that, Pablo Cap's going to lay off a fastball inside. Because if we swing at that, that's definitely the end of the game. But, hey, we might as well try and increase our batting average if we can. So here we go. What a no count up. Papa Cap. And that's going to be blistered in the right center we don't also want to make the second out or i'm sorry the third out so we're just going to hold up at second of course see if uh hopefully we can win this game and let's see does it actually happen we'll find out and well it's an 0-2 count to our teammate manny campus against stefan christian christian or however you pronounce it i'm, I'm gonna assume it's christian and it's another liner to end the game not the best of ways unfortunately we don't win the first game of the series but hey we got game two. All right, guys, it's okay. We went three for five in the first game. Of course, remember, first game, obviously, everybody's got goosebumps. You know, all the pressure that comes on to everybody. It's understandable if uh, sometimes you don't win them all, but it's fine. Like I said, we also got game two here today, so we're going to be entering here for game two, and uh, let's see if Poppy Cap can hopefully turn it around. But we're already down to a not-so-good start. It's a 2 nothing game. All right, here we go. One swing does tie the game, though. Come on, Papa Cap. We get under it. Good, okay. Leaving the bat at 83, man. That is not the way we wanted to make an impact so far this early in the game. But uh, I feel like Papa Cap, after this series, if we do happen to make it, uh... I feel like he's definitely going to do better. Here we are in center field. All right, Papa Cap's ready to make a play, of course. There's a run on second. 2-2 two -two count. It's 2 nothing. second inning, and he's going to make it to his right. There we go. There we go. But as I was trying to say earlier, uh, after the series, Papa Cap's going to try and turn it in. Even after this entire playoffs, I really do hope Papa Cap gets an invite to spring training because he's, I mean, think about it. We're talking about a minor league who blasted over 80 home runs. And uh, I just hope, of course, the um, uh, the major league manager is paying attention to the glitch in the game, saying, "Hey, he's not here just you know to be a filler. Of course, he's here to make a name for himself. He wants to make a career out of this game, and this is exactly what we want. We're gonna swing at a high fastball. Good week. I mean, we're not taking the best of cuts. It is understandable, but I mean, I mean, if we could just hopefully, just hopefully, swing at better pitches, that's what we want." All right, here we are. Bottom of the six. It's a six-one game. Just like last game, we are not doing too hot. Okay, come on, Poppy Cap. Remember, strikes only. That's gonna hit the corner of the strikes, and it's hit to center field. Ooh, baby! I thought that was gonna be a rob, but say it with me. You hang it, we bang it. We didn't say it in the last one because I forgot to say it, but we say it right there. There we go, Poppy Cap. Comes up with the clutch. He gets the fastball up and away, and he just pushes it up and away. He almost robs it, though. The center fielder of Altoona almost robs it, though. Thank God he did. Of course, Poppy Cap used all the muscles that he can to muster it up. And here comes the most important moment of the game. Six to five. Here we are in the bottom of the seven. Poppy Cap already has one home run in the game. Two home runs in the series. So, of course, we're going to try and make solid contact and drive in the run. Okay, nobody out. So, Sack Flight does drive in the run. All right, Poppy Cap, remember, if it looks good, swing at it. Come on, Poppy Cap. Okay, good eye, good eye. Up and away fastball. Up and away fastball. Good, good. Okay, like I said, even a double play most likely drives in the run. But come on, Poppy Cap, we need a huge hit. Oh, baby, look what happens when we throw it down the middle. Where is that landing? Oh, my gosh, that, oh, wow. I think that hit off the corner of the batter's eye. Just passed it. Poppy Cap makes it from a 6-5 to five game. To a nine to six game. Look at this down the middle. That's obviously the worst spot you could have pitched him. Just look at his face. Look at his face. He knew from the second it left the bat, it was immediately gone. Four hundred and fifty-one feet. Just look where it is, man. The pit. Look at the pitcher. He's kicking the dirt, man. He's so mad. He's mad. But guess what? There's only one man happy, and that's Papa Cap. All right, it is now an 11-6 game. Bottom of the eighth, Poppy Cap is going to be stepping in once again for one more at bat here. The glitch in the game has been killing it on the bat, and he almost does it right there. Hopefully, it drops, and it's going to be 
he dives right there in right field, and he doesn't come up with it. Papa Cap's going to try and step, uh, you know, turn it into three. I, was, I got confused with my words, and we're out. Are you kidding me? Really? That took a perfect throw to get him. And obviously, the perfect throw was made. But we did take the dub, though. And I'm pretty happy with the way we performed. Everybody was great. Pitching was pretty good. We only gave up six runs. But Papi Cap drove in six runs ourselves. So if it wasn't even for the other opponents, Papi Cap would have easily helped us tie the game. But great, great performance overall by both teams. And uh, let's see. You know what? Let's play a third game. Because I feel like Papi Cap has yet to show his full potential yet. Playoff baseball is just a slightly different animal, huh? Fun though, right? Remember that feeling of exhilaration? It's why we bust our butts all year to improve. Come on, let's get one. Yes, sir, just like that. I think we're on the road for the next game. I might be wrong, but let's see. We're going to go into the next game, and we are on the road. So, of course, we got to go into a different mindset. Remember, we aren't the home team where we have a chance to walk it off. So, if we're going to pitch well, we're going to hit well. We just have to come in with a different mindset. But, of course, the same goal applies. Win the game. All right, here we go. We are playing here in, uh, what park is it? We're playing at Barnes Canyon Ballpark. So here we go. There's going to be a different ballpark that we're used to. But the goal remains the same. Come on, Papa Cap. Oh, that was a curve down the middle. 105 off the bat. Papa Cap almost killed the pitcher. A very, very nice hit by the glitch in the game. Papa Cap steps in for a second at bat of the game. It does remain a tied scoreless game. So let's see if the glitch in the game has another hit up his sleeve. Remember, it's still tied at zero, so it is anybody's ball game. Come on, pop a cap. And that change up low and in. Comes in that good okay. Doesn't matter. It's not even a hit. All right, here we go. Third at bat of the game for the glitch in the game. We have a 2 nothing lead. But, of course, everybody knows in baseball, a lead in baseball is never safe. Sure, you could have an eight-run game. But remember, just pretty much two grand slams and your opponent's back in it. But we have that mindset. We have to try and, of course, score as many runs as we can with the best opportunities as possible. And just like that, Papa Cap's going to blister it down the line. It is going to stay fair. And let's see if our runner, our teammate's going to score. And he is. He's going to go all the way to third. And they actually throw to third. Wow, I didn't expect that. But luckily, we do get a run, though. And it makes it a 3 nothing game. All right, here we go. Fourth at bat of the game. It's a 4-1 to one game now, and they walk us. Wow. Our opponents, that's scared, huh? I mean, hey, I would walk Poppy Cap, too. Think about it. The man has two crazy hits, one down the line and one up the middle where he almost pretty much killed the pitcher, almost ending his life. But you know what? You learned your lesson right there. So now we're just going to fast forward here. We get nothing in that inning, but here he is, the glitch in the game. Top of the ninth, we got a runner on first. All right, come on, Poppy Cap. Two for three. Let's make it a three for four game. Let's hit it over the wall. Oh, baby. Perfect. Perfect. That has to go, right? I mean, just look at it. Go over the wall. Let's go. You hang it. We bang it. And look at Poppy Cap with the 425 bomb. Dude, just running around the bases like he does every day there's a game. Let's see. Let's take a look at that strike. Fastball. Middle in. And he just pulls it. It was a little bit more down the middle than middle end, but, I mean, just same result, basically. Perfect, perfect. Oh, what a weight off the bat. I mean, can anybody else hit it? And just like that, we're now here in the bottom of the ninth. Where we're about to end this game. Sean Armstrong is on the hill. Let's see if we can hopefully close it out. Nobody out here, and that's going to be hit to right. Uh, right field, and it's going to be caught for uh, the first out. Our right fielder makes the great play, and just like that, that's going to end the game. We do end this uh, game right here. We take a dub right here, and I'm pretty happy with the result. But you know what? I feel like we can easily clutch up for game four and take the series, but we don't want to rush ourselves too much, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to call it right here, and you know what? We're going to get in ready for game four in the next episode, maybe even take the series. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys enjoyed this game by the glitch in the game. Just tearing it up in these first three games of the playoffs. We still got a lot of playoff baseball left to go. And trust me, you guys do not want to miss it. Subscribe to the channel once again, ladies and gentlemen. It is very much appreciated here. That's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see y'all later. Thank mm -hmm. you.